Welcome back to another episode of Self Critique for my bouldering technique as a V3 beginner climber. I consider myself a beginner because I've only been climbing for about a year, but the truth is I'm starting to turn intermediate. I still have a lot to learn, but I also am starting to have a little bit to teach. Today, I'm gonna critique my own climbing and hopefully teach myself a little something, learn from my own mistakes and see what I can do to improve next time. Maybe you guys can learn a little something as well. I know I already chatted over this one, but the name of this climb is body tension. That's what it's all about. Squeezing towards that midline. That's the only way to get to the top. We are here at Oso Climbing Gym in Dallas, Texas, and today I am climbing the yellow routes. At Oso, yellows are rated V2 through V4. I consider myself a V3 climber because I can't quite do all the V4s, uh, but I can usually do most of them, and I can occasionally do the greens, which are V4 to V6, so solid v3 climber right here but that's it for the introductions let's talk climbing technique critique the setters at oso have been talking about these yellows specifically have been pointed towards body position lately and starting to get a little bit away from strength i think they caught a lot of us v3 climbers forcing our ways with our muscles up the climbs and we weren't quite using the technique right. So they set us up with some problems that really require body position being in the right place. I wasn't able to piece this one together, but it's a new set, so maybe I'll get it eventually. My friend Sam here is able to do it quite nicely and show us his strong static beta. As with any of the tougher V4s, hip works going side to side is always important cut loose here but fortunately he's one of the strongest humans alive so it didn't phase him one bit he gets back on track and you can see hips pointing to the right hips pointing to the left hips pointing to the right hips pointing to the left as he moves nice and slowly up this without any of those swingy dynamic movements definitely something to learn from here especially for me on lockoffs, and this climb is a really great one for showcasing that for me. This is one that might have been more of a dynamic climb for me in the past, but I'm starting to get stronger and pull in a way that I'm able to hold myself in the position and move my hand a little bit more slowly off to the next hold. Here I get my hands twisted up a little bit, but I'm able to push through and get it all figured out. It has a nice strong move here at the finish that you almost don't wanna go for it just cause you're tired and you're all the way up there. <laughs> this is another one that really showcases body position. These feet to get off on the start are useless unless you get yourself in the right position tilted way off over to the right. And then up here, once you work your way up through this middle section, you gotta really shift those hips because that hand is useless if your hips aren't off to the left of it. So a nice little swiggly S-curve with your hips moving up this way. Here's a move with a crux I couldn't quite send. There's really only one move to this route get about 90% of the way through it. But you just, it's a mantle, there's nothing else to it. No feet, just a wall, nice big wide thing to put your hands on to figure out how to get up there. I think you're supposed to mantle up on one arm and move on to the next, but I couldn't get it sorted. You'll notice the shirt change on this. I thought it would be fun to show you a bunch of failures because I walked in and day flashed this project today. So I didn't have any failures from today to show you. However, I really fought with this one for a handful of visits and on each visit, uh, a lot of attempts. There's really no feet to start with and you really gotta just jump up there and smear and use these big two holds to just manhandle your hips in the right position. There's weird barn doors and all kinds 
kinds of things that you have to consider to get this right. But because there aren't a whole ton of holds on here, you really just have to get up here and manhandle it. And every body shape is gonna do it slightly different. I've had a lot of evolution here, and it's all about getting your hips right in there on, without having them twist off the side. This is it. I walked in and pulled hard. This is a nice little move right there. The trick is digging your right foot in there and getting your hips up there while still being able to move that foot. A couple times I got that toe stuck in there right, but bumping it up there to where I could open my hips to the wall and get in there with my hips on top let me advance by using my feet. That big reach with that left hand was fun, and then this finish is tricky because you don't quite fit underneath it. And I had to slide down. God, what a great route. I haven't been able to send this next one yet, but who doesn't love a good dyno? This one is tricky because it's kind of wrapped around a corner. You don't get to just shoot straight up. You have to shoot to the side, but also a change of pitch there in the wall with that lateral movement. I look like you can make a connection with that left hand and the right one and try to keep yourself in. I haven't got with the setters yet, gotten any pointers yet. I'm sure my boy Kyle will help me get there. I really, really love this route. This big flag on the opening move is really great. I thought that was going to be it. It was a tough nut to crack, but this crux here in the middle is just like, it's almost like having to do a lever. <laughs> it's a pull up where you just throw yourself up there to the right move. But if you're slinging around too much, you're not going to be able to hold on to that little chip up there with the right hand. I'm starting to get a little bit better at it, so much so that I think the brush is going to help. Um, but you can see right here. Oh, flag. Decent feet. I think I'm right there. Gives me a good transition. Now here's where you have to just like pull that hold down to your hips and then walk off with that left hand on the lats. Anyways, here's my best attempt. I actually engage with the hold here at the end of that dead point. I grab the lower left hold with my right hand. I think I need to grab the right one. I don't know. That's a battle for another day. Thank you guys for watching. This was a great afternoon of climbing after a full week off and having a baby. So more soon, I'll have a video update of all my climbs from January coming up here soon. But in the meantime, just get out there and be excellent to each other.